Welcome to Market Roundup using Top Down Analysis, 14th July 2019. I am Sagar Nandi, Chief Analyst and Trader at Superior Profit, based in Singapore. Though the company is based in Singapore, I live in Thailand. Before we begin, let me go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on superior profits trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior Profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. In today's topics, I will look at oil and gold using technical charts. They tend to impact related stocks. In general, when we are swing trading stocks, we like to align them with the direction of the market. I'll study market strength using NASDAQ and NYSE market bread and technical analysis of market ETFs. In addition to aligning the trades with markets direction, I like to align them with industry strength. I'll study that using industry scorecard. Along the way, I may review some of the recent examples from Traders Forum. You may also access the Traders Forum from our homepage. It is open to the public. And I will look for potential trades for the coming week. That was the last slide of the presentation. Let's move to live system. We begin our commodities analysis with oil. We are looking at the oil ETF USO using weekly backdrop chart and daily hop on chart. Together we call this at a glance template because this template helps us decide if there is a low risk swing trade entry opportunity at the right edge in only a few seconds. After displaying the bullish headwind in the weekly chart, it went up. Then it pulled back, made a higher low and then went up again. In the daily chart also, after displaying the bullish headwind, it went up, pulled back to make a higher low and then went up again. For the last four weeks, oil is going up, the weekly backdrop candle color is bullish. This week's candle shape and color both are bullish. In the daily chart, price made a higher low and then went up from there. We had a cyan color candle on this day, that is Wednesday. That could be a trend following long trade signal how far all the checklist conditions were not met. It was already at the upper boundary level. The stop loss would be far away. And also, there was a memory resistance line nearby. Looking at the whole chart, one would not take any trend following long trend. In fact, right now, Oil is inside a triangle pattern. Unless it can break out of the triangle pattern in either direction, the trend is not clear and you may stay away from taking any trend following swing trend. Gold ETF GLD In the weekly chart, gold is bullish. The backdrop candle colors are Sand for many weeks. This week's candle color and shape both are bullish. 
in the daily chart it broke out of the memory resistance and it is holding on to the breakout for last three days gold is bullish however it is already at the upper boundary level and it is overbought in the weekly chart you may not want to chase gold and stay away from taking any long trade right now Market breadth analysis using NASDAQ Composite Index and NYSE Composite Index, weekly charts, and three pairs of internals new high low, advanced decline, and up down volume. In the last market roundup, I analyzed market breadth to be bullish, both NASDAQ and NYSE weekly candles were bullish. And that is continuing to be the case this week as well. Market internals are also bullish. All the six internals went up and they all closed above zero. Both NASDAQ and NYSE are overbought in the weekly charts. The picture is clearly bullish. There is no case for taking any short trade in the market based on market breadth analysis. The commodities were bullish, both oil and gold were bullish, market breadth was also bullish. Now I study the market ETFs. I am starting with S&P 500 ETF, SPY. This is also bullish. SPY made a new all-time high this week. The weekly candle backdrop color as well as shape are bullish. In the daily, it is going up. Price is supported by memory support line. Price is at the upper boundary level that is overbought in the daily chart as well as the weekly chart. The weekly volume is very small for past several weeks. NASDAQ ETF QQQ has a very similar picture to SPY. This also made a new all-time high. The weekly backdrop candle color and shape both are bullish. In the daily price is going up. It is supported by memory support line. Daily is at the upper boundary level. It is overbought in both daily as well as weekly charts and the weekly volume is small for past several weeks. Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF DIA DIA also made a new all-time high, strongly bullish in the weekly chart. Daily is also bullish. Price is supported by memory support line. Price is above the upper boundary level. Overbought in both the daily as well as weekly charts. Weekly volume is small for past several weeks. Russell 2000 ETF IWM. This was the weakest of the four market ETFs and it is continuing that way. It didn't make a new all-time high. Far from that, weekly is continuing to remain inside the triangle pattern. Daily is also continuing to remain in the triangle pattern. This is the only market ETF that actually declined this week. Weekly activity is small for past two weeks. The commodities were bullish, market breadth was bullish, market ETFs were bullish except for Russell 2000. One reason for concern is that the market went up for several weeks but with very low volume. There is another reason for concern, 
that is this week sector performance here i am looking at one month sector performance the red bar represents this week's performance green bar previous week's performance and the blue bar prior to week's performance together they represent one month of sector performance looking at the green bars you can see that in the previous week most of the sectors went up except energy that is not the case this week this week only four sectors went up and seven went down and the ones that went down include non defensive sectors like materials healthcare industrials and financials it also includes defensive sectors like real estate and consumer staples overall more sectors declining than going up is not showing a bullish picture at the sector level if you are looking for trading opportunities you may use the sector scorecard and heat map to decide where to buy and where to short the heat map shows that energy and communication services are the strongest sector right now and the weakest ones are healthcare and materials using strength and weakness you could look for buy setups in energy and communication services and short setups in healthcare and materials you could also use the acceleration deceleration from the pace column that shows energy is the most accelerating sector you could look for buy setups in energy looking at its acceleration and also looking at its strength what about deceleration the two most decelerating sectors are real estate and consumer staples you might look for shorting opportunities here how about the sector level like the market level tends to be quite broad to make more accurate trading decisions you may drill down into the industry level and buy into the strong or accelerating industries and short into the weak or decelerating industries if we look at the 10 best performing industries only one of them oil and gas drilling is in the energy sector we saw that energy sector is now the strongest and also the most accelerating sector if i drill down into oil and gas drilling i can find rig r i g it has positive last yearly earnings growth and also positive last quarterly earnings growth so the valuation is not so good in terms of earnings growth we may consider it as a strong fundamental stock it also has a short squeeze potential in the weekly chart there was a watermark support level price went below that and then on this yellow color candle it displayed a bull release signal and also completed a false downside breakout closing above the watermark support level since then price is moving sideways the weekly backdrop candle color has turned bullish cyan for 3 weeks in the daily chart after this bullish headwind signal price went up it is inside a triangle pattern 
at the tip of the triangle pattern. Friday's candle color and shape are bullish, however, it couldn't break the triangle pattern. If next week it goes up from here, it may give a very low risk breakout, long entry opportunity in a stock that is fundamentally strong in terms of earnings growth. The stock has a short squeeze potential and it is in an industry that is currently very strong. You may keep an eye for such a breakout trade opportunity in rig in the coming days. I will analyze one more industry, specialty stores. This is also one of the best performing industries. And on top of that, this is an industry that was weak earlier and now it became strong. That showed up as acceleration under the base column. In the specialty stores industry, I found VSI. This stock is having great valuation. It is undervalued and it is also showing earnings growth in the latest quarter. It has robust earnings quality and a short squeeze potential. This is the kind of stock where I like to look for buy setups, stocks which are undervalued, showing earnings growth and also has short squeeze potential. This is the same stock VSI using weekly daily at a glance template. In the weekly at this point it displayed a bullish headwind signal that could catch the bottom at that time from there price went up significantly. Afterwards price fell down and then it displayed another bullish headwind signal. This bullish between signal is also so far able to catch the very low of the price move. This week's candle color and shape both are bullish. When the weekly displayed the bullish headwind at this point, a few days before that, the daily had displayed bullish headwind signal. I conducted an introduction to Q Elite webinar a few days ago. In that webinar, I mentioned that if weekly and daily display bullish headwind signal around the same time, then we are extra vigilant and we start to look for buy setups. I had also explained how to take breakout long opportunities at the very low price extreme low. Such an opportunity came on this day. There were several memory resistance lines prior to that day. All of those memory resistance lines were broken by this day. At that time, price was at pendulum low and we had one reversal candle and then another reversal candle at pendulum low. When price broke out of the memory resistance line, it did so with high activity. Looking at all those signals, you could take a breakout long trade right at the close of this candle putting stop just below recent low which would also be just below the memory support line. That gave us a very low risk breakout long trade candidate at pendulum or price extreme low. From there price has gone up. It has probably already covered the risk distance. One could book at least partial profit and then continue to hold partial position 
trying to let profit run. As the market is bullish, I am not going to look for shorting candidates this week. However, if you look for short ideas, you would look for them in the worst performing industries. Or you could also look for the short setups in the most decelerating industries. Let me take this opportunity to make the announcement that I shared in our forum also. We created the USA Q Traders Club. This is meant for the traders who are using Q systems in their trading and who are willing to share their analysis with each other. If you are one of them, you may click the join the club button to find out more detail and join the club. Before I end, let me summarize. In the previous market roundup, I analyzed the market to be bullish. That was based on the market breadth, market ETF and sector analysis. All of them were bullish in the last week. This week market went up. The market breadth is remaining bullish. The ETFs are also generally bullish except Russell 2000. However, the sectors are not as strong as they were in the last week. That is the only reason for concern. And the other reason for concern is that the weekly volume is low in all the major ETFs. Still, in terms of price move, the market is clearly bullish. It is safer to take long trades than short trades. At the same time, as is usual in our Q trading technique, you may avoid buying stocks that are either technically overbought or fundamentally overvalued. That is all that I plan to share in today's session. Thank you for attending. I look forward to seeing you in my next session. Have a great week and trade profitably.